it's time to take a look at the Galaxy S10 Plus. We 30 days in. Shout out to my sponsor, Verizon. Okay guys, it's been about a month with the Galaxy S10 Plus and honestly I'm loving this device. All the hype that preceded the Galaxy S10 Plus was right. This device is probably going to be one of the best devices in 2019, if not the best. Um, there are a lot of features on this device that I'm really feeling um, and we already know that in the major categories a smartphone needs to shine in this device is definitely shining in out the box the first thing you're going to notice about the s10 plus is the build you're going to see that glass on the front glass on the back with an elegant aluminum frame also you're going to see the three cameras which have an accent around them that match the aluminum frame which is a really nice touch it's a really lightweight device but still has a premium feel in hand and in hand even though it's a 6.4 inch display um it is definitely has a footprint of a mid-sized device it's not a bulky device at all um, samsung did a great job getting a huge beautiful display into a nice bill a nice trim bezel-less bill where you can hold it in your hand and not feel like you holding a brick um, of course on the S10 Plus you're going to also notice the dual pinhole cameras out front. Um, I like this way better than the notch honestly. I'm not going to lie. But just a overall premium feel in hand. Not too big. Not too bulky. But you still getting a lot of display. And um, a new way to combat that notch to get that bezel-less look that everyone loves. So Samsung really did that thing with the build on this device. As far as display goes, uh, the nail was hit right on the head with this one. Always from Samsung getting great displays, but this one, 6.4 inch uh, dynamic AMOLED display. They was able to put that fingerprint scanner under the display, HDR10 plus display. That's the first of its kind. Corn and Gorilla Glass 6. Um, and it also has an always on display, but it's just a beautiful display, guys. I mean, the saturation is there, yes, but it gives you some of the most beautiful colors and the blackest of the blacks. Um, I am completely spoiled by Samsung displays, and this year it was even made better and brighter. I would say it's not much better than the Note 9, but it definitely can get brighter than the Note 9 displays, and I love a display that can get bright. This display gets up to like 1200 nits. Now, not saying that you need that, but I mean, it's just something that you can have in your bag of tricks if you want your screen that bright. Um, I love watching all content on here. I love gaming on this device just because it's a beautiful display. You're going to always want to look at this display compared to any phone I have, compared to my iPhone, compared to my Pixel. As far as me really wanting to watch some content, and see a beautiful display i definitely gonna pick up uh my samsung galaxy s10 plus guys just a beautiful display on this thing and um if you pick it up you will not be let down at all the cameras on the s10 plus are some of the best cameras out on smartphones i mean period uh triple camera setup out back dual camera for the selfie camera so that's five cameras on this device out back you got three cameras you got a regular wide a ultra wide camera and a telephoto camera you can take some great wide pictures wide angle pictures a lot of people like to use that wide angle you can take some great live focus which is the blur background effect like the bouquet a lot of people like to utilize that so definitely out back you will not be let down records great video records at 4k um out front you can actually record in 4k with the front facing camera also which is something new that's pushing the envelope um you got that dual camera set up out front one of the lenses is telephoto so you can take you a nice live focus selfie um get that 
blur background effects so really dope cameras here samsung is known for their cameras and these on this device uh they're really good um the interface is really easy and you can really use it to do a lot of things they have a pro mode full mode slow motion just a lot of things that you can play with as far as photography go with these cameras and take some great pictures or some great video performance and storage are no problem not even with the base model s10 plus um you're getting a snapdragon 855 starting out with six gigs of ram and 128 gigs of storage and you can insert the micro sd card for some external storage so definitely um no problem there the phone has been performing flawlessly i've been gaming on the phone multitasking on the phone um it's snappy it's just as fast as anything on the market including a iphone it's glitch free um i've been having a good time using android one ui haven't had any problems no complaints samsung really hit that one out of the park this is a feature rich device guys um you have still have the headphone jack you have wireless charging fast charging and reverse wireless charging but i really wouldn't use it to charge another device that doesn't make sense to me maybe some earbuds or something of that nature you got the samsung dex experience which is really dope so just a really uh feature packed device and i've really been having a good time with it the only quirk that i did have with it was the under display fingerprint scanner um at first i really wasn't feeling it but i've got an update since then and i've used some tips and tricks from other youtubers since then and i've been having a way better experience with the under the display uh fingerprint scanner the battery life has been amazing really good battery life uh 4100 milliamp battery uh really lasted me like six hours get six hours of screen on time really a full day phone that's really all i need um i don't plan on being anywhere more than a day without a charge if i if i have my cell cellular device it's a full day phone that's what i'm looking for that's all i need just glad it still has the headphone jack like i said stereo speaker sound great um just a overall really good experience guys a really good way to start 2019 um, this is your man BG Tech Life. Yes, I would recommend the Galaxy S10 Plus to anyone looking for a new device that's not looking on a budget. Um, and I, anybody that has an S9 or a Note 9, you don't have to run out and jump. Maybe you can wait to the next device. Um, it is nice, but those devices are also nice in themselves. But like I said, guys, thanks for watching the man BG Tech Life. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it out, please. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and get subscribed. And you can follow me on Instagram, BG Tech Life. And follow me on Twitter, BG underscore Tech Life. It's your man, BG. I'm out. Peace.